Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the APK Time Alternative App Store to your Fire Stick or Android TV. If you know what it is, it's the easy way to jailbreak your Fire Stick and get loads of apps which are not available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And without any further ado, the first step you gotta take is get the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. If you don't already have it, you can get the loader free of charge from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device, and here in the search bar, you need to start typing downloader. So let's do it. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. Let's click on it. And that's the app that you gotta get to your Forestic device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet because you still have to set it up. So now, in order to actually set up the loader on your Fire Stick, what you have to do is go to settings. So that's what we're gonna do right now by clicking on that button with a gear icon. After that, you scroll down until you see My Fire TV. Let's open it. And now from here, you need to turn on developer options on your Fire Stick device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just have to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you gotta start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so to do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case, it is going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have appeared for us right here. Let's open them, make sure to turn on ATB debugging. After that, you need to go to install unknown apps, open this part, and now from here, all you gotta do is locate the unloader and turn that option on. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire TV Stick. Here it is, we'll open it. And now there's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing, and is of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Bilium right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So you have to go straight back to the list of apps on your device. There it is, then you open up the loader and wait until it loads for you. And here in the app, pretty much all you gotta do is open that search bar and now start typing the code in the search. So the code in our case is gonna be 511180. So once again, 
it's 51180. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work for you. After that, you have to click on go and in a couple of moments, the download is going to start for us. And yep, here we go, the download process has started. Usually it doesn't take too long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection, so it took us only a couple of seconds. Then you have to click on install, and after that just wait for a bit until the app is installed. And after that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you have an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of an SSH file from your fire stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default your fire stick doesn't really have too much free space available anyway. And now what we need to do is actually go to settings one more time, so let's do it. Again, scroll down until you see my fire TV and open it. Then again, we'll go to developer options, install known apps, and this time we have to turn that option on for APK time because it's a must as we'll be using APK time to download other applications from the internet to your fire stick. And after that, we're good to go to the list of apps on your fire TV. Let's start it up. And there's the APK time, which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. So click on it and then press on move to front. And this way, APK time is always going to be at the very top of your application list. And therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN running to stay safe and out of trouble online. And then we can open APK time and then the app opens. You have such a screen with loads of app categories such as top applications, animation, application seekers, entertainment, essentials, far stick devices only, VPNs, gaming, live TV, music, players, browsers, premium services, ports, tools, torrents and spicy content as well. So you open any of those categories, let's say you will open players and browsers. And from here you get access to a lot of applications of all kinds. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact applications available here, but in your case of course it's not going to be blurry. And the process is the same for all the other categories. You just open the category, click on the download button and you'll be able to get any of the apps that are listed here. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.